He is one of the true godfathers of heavy metal, but Ozzy Osbourne is also one of the wildest men in rock and roll. If you're a fan of this legendary vocalist, then you're probably aware of his range of antics. Some that are absolute horror. Remember the time he bit a bat's head off? Before we go ahead and tell you what happened way back in 1982 and recount some of the other crazy moments of Ozzy Osbourne's life, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more such crazy stories from the world of music only on indigomusic.com. Let's begin with his crazy hotel carnage. While staying in a hotel with guitarist Zach Wilde, a bored Ozzy threw a television out of the window without even a second thought. Ozzy described the moment it hit the ground as an explosion. Not only did Ozzy pay for the TV, he had to pay three months worth of time for the room which added up to over £40,000 in damages. Next, after a few too many drinks in Texas in February 1982, Ozzy decided to take one of his drunken walks. Soon after, he emptied his bladder at the city's sacred cenotaph, located directly next to the Alamao building. The police did not take kindly to urinating on such a memorial and swiftly arrested Ozzy, along with a band from San Antonio that lasted until 1992. Next, a time described by Ozzy as the final straw of his drug and alcohol abuse, he had around 17 cats in his home at one time, and one night he decided to shoot them all. Ozzy's wife came home to find him under the piano in a white suit with a shotgun in one hand and a bloody knife in the other. And then there was a time when he drugged the vicar. Being a member of the Church of England, Ozzy often had the vicar pay him a visit to his house. His first wife, Thelma, accidentally gave the priest some cake, unaware that Ozzy had laced the treat with Afghan hash. For obvious reasons, the vicar couldn't recall what happened the next day. Last but not the least, how can we not talk about his reputation for biting the heads of small-winged creatures? In 1981, after signing the first record deal of his solo career, Ozzy planned to release a set of doves into the air as a sign of peace. Unfortunately, an intoxicated Ozzy is claimed to have grabbed the closest dove, bit its head off and then spat it onto the ground. Wait, it doesn't just end here. A year later, during a performance, a fan in the audience threw something at the stage. Osborne picked it up and, assuming it was a toy bat, took a massive bite out of it. He soon spat it out after realizing it was actually a dead bat. After the concert, Osborne was rushed to Broadlawn's Medical Center for rabies shot. In his memoir, Ozzy said that the bat gave him the worst aftertaste you could ever imagine. Well, nothing better explains Ozzy's legacy, doesn't it? If you know of any such crazy stories from the world of music, do share it with us on the comment box below. Till the next time, stay tuned to indigomusic.com.